Hi, Steve Williams is back again with another Take the Wheel Tuesday. Today, we're going to take a peek at the 2010 Ford Focus SD we have on our lot. Let's ride along. What you're going to see in this 2010 Ford Focus SD is it's one of the more fuel efficient vehicles in Ford's lineup. Uh, this one being rated at 24 in town, 35 highway, is going to give you a good mix of both. Another thing you'll notice, this is a 2.0 four-cylinder engine, equipped with the automatic transmission. It still has some of your nicer things like your power windows, power locks, your CD player. Also does have an auxiliary port down here. This one's only got about 29,610 miles on it. Now that's a little bit less than the industry average saying that most people drive about 15,000 miles a year. Driving this one, you're going to notice it's got really good handling, back and forth. You can really feel the car when it goes sideways. Um, another thing you're going to feel is it's a little bit quieter in the engine. Really easy control knobs to get to, really big, easily seen so you're not searching for everything. You can just kind of feel on the dash, turn the volume up, turn it down. Really easy ergonomics for the vehicle. Um, now being this is the SE, it's got the nicer things like the aluminum wheels. We had mentioned the power windows, power locks, things like that. Um, cruise control. Alright, this one's equipped. Kind of a cool layout here. All your controls are down here. Displays everything up here. Now this one has serious radio. Satellite radio, you'd obviously have to get a uh, subscription to the easy there. Auxiliary, which is down here we showed before. Plug in any iPod, tablet, MP3, anything like that. Listen to anything you want through the speakers. When you get down in here, you get into a couple things. Info gives you kind of a readout up in your middle dash. You don't have to actually look away from the steering wheel. It gives you just a little display down here. And as I scroll through them, you'll be able to see 29.1 average miles per gallon, mile per gallon up or down, getting bad or worse. The trip, what your average, um, what your D has on it, how many miles still empty in the tank, and then your average mile per gallon again. Setup. You can also run through everything up here and switch your units, auto lock if you don't want it to lock, auto unlock, um, switch the languages if you're fluent in different languages, reset, how you reset your trip, things like that. Track control, does have that for the winter time, so if you do get stuck you need to shut that off. Throttle car back reverse, drive reverse, drive your 10, and then you have two 12 volt outlets here. Cell phone, MP3 player, charging, anything like that. Chunk size in this is actually pretty good. You have the pull down seat, you can go 40, 60 on that. That's just released from the inside. You have really good depth in here. You can actually get down into the trunk, rather some of them just come straight across and into the back. It really cuts off your storage space in the trunk. The nice thing about it too, is these are the pneumatic lifts. So therefore, when you shut the trunk and you pack it full, you don't have to accommodate for the handles coming down into the trunk and messing up your suitcases or any, any layout you had in the car. These ones are equipped with the 15 inch aluminum wheels, which are a little bit better than the hubcap if you would happen to um, run it into a curb, anything like that. These are actually a little bit stronger than, than the other wheels you can get for them. For those parents looking for a back to school drive or to send your kids off to college, perfect price, perfect economy, really good size, really good storage. Stop on down to Cooper Chevrolet Subaru and take the wheel of this 2010 Ford Focus SE. My name is Steve Williams. That's been another edition of Take the Wheel Tuesday.